Hello everyone, my name is Fikri and today I'm going to show you how to use Pathfinding Server on Godot. As you know, Godot just updated its version to 3.5 which has a new feature called Pathfinding Server but sadly, I watch YouTube and there is no tutorial that tell me how to do it exactly. So I'm going to make this video to show you guys simply. If I click in the mouse, in the polyg polygon mess of the navigation, it will show me, it will move according to the line. And the line is created according to the position of the navigation, the agent. And the mouse, sorry, the agent and the mouse, which is the target. So it seems like the speed is too big. Okay, ta -da. let's follow the G. I like your cut, G. Just kidding. Okay, let's see the the code. So in my code, there is already an explanation. In the ready function, the agent will set a navigation for himself, like a map for himself, which is this. This this is the map of the navigation. And after that, in the physics process, which is called for every fra frame, every time I click a mouse, it will initiate a path. And the path will be initiated according to the position on my on my screen for example let's just I click here it will follow the path but it will not follow the path if it's outside the map because we initiate the map in here there is an in, there is a comment here to explain I made it myself you can read there's the target which is the mouse position the chart post which is the position of the agent the path which is made by navigation to the server object it requires the rid of the map by using this rid is like a unique id of the navigation on the server because nowadays godot has a new feature called uh what is it called pathfinding using server so you can use many pathfinding at once and then it will be removed the first points because it's usually the first part and the first part is literally the position of the object the agent and it will navigate the navigate is just a function to set the target location of the first so you tell the agent this is your target location which is the first part what is the, the part zero part zero is like a first position first points this is the first point this is the second point third point fourth point so yeah, and then if the path has path, if path dot size is more than zero, which is like it's telling me, okay, path dot size is more than zero. It tells me path has something on it. It's not just empty thing. So it's move to path. For current position equals global position. So it tells the current position. Is the global position which is this the kinematic body or the agent position the target are the nav agent get next location which is the next points this is the next point this is the next point you know and velocity velocity is like the direction of the agent so the current position the agent position and the direction to target which is the mouse position so here and here tada and the 100 the speed the speed of the agent i can set it to 100 to make it faster or maybe 300 to make it faster yep okay it's stuck because i think i didn't i didn't use safe velocity but whatever let's set it back to 100 nav underscore agent dot set velocity velocity so it's tell the nav agent set velocity of the nav agent by this and if the current position distance to target the position distance to the first point or the target point is less than zero uh, is the less than one which mean sorry which mean the point is reached the path will be removed and the points and the path will be updated 
the line will be drawn according to the new part and the part dot size and if the part dot size has if the part has has something on it the agent will set the next points by the first part which is the same just like the navigate part so if i remove this the part will not update even though we we, re we reach the point look the agent reached the points the distance has been closed but it doesn't have but nothing happens and in here on navigation to the velocity computed set velocity and here whenever set velocity is called a, fun, a signal will be called back and it will be called back in here on navigation to the velocity computed set velocity set velocity is needed so there so the agent doesn't stop for example i just make it 1000 it's, it's going to stop as you can see it slowed down or stuck because the normal velocity is 200 let's make it 1000 as you can see it's not stuck anymore well it's kind of stuck but safe velocity is needed so the agent doesn't stuck so that's the overall explanation you can download this file this code or this entire project on the link in my github and you can implement it on your games thank you for watching and see you next time